informed consent. So the provider is responsible for obtaining the informed consent. And in order to do so, the, um, the client um, needs to be present and um, like mentally capable of understanding um, the procedure that the provider is going to explain. Um, this can range from all kinds of procedures. You know, we, we commonly think of surgery, but you know, you definitely have to get it for blood transfusions. Um, so this is something that will come up a lot um, in the hospital. Um, the provider is also responsible for explaining, you know, any risks and benefits um, to the treatment and providing them um, alternatives. So the client, um, their responsibility is to um, provide consent that's not due to coercion. So they weren't pressured by a family member or their provider isn't pressuring them. Um, and they need to be able to understand um, the procedure enough to, you know, at least explain it in, I guess, layman's terms, and they need to be of the legal age or an emancipated minor. So as the nurse, um, our role is to be a witness to the informed consent. So this means that we ensure that uh, the provider gave the client the necessary information, um, that the client understood the information, um, have them have the client sign it and notify the provider if the patient has more questions um, and document that because we are not, it's not within our scope of practice to, um, you know, explain um, anything really about the procedure, even if maybe you've seen it done a thousand times, it's up to the provider to answer those questions. Now with advanced directives, um, there are living wills. And I should explain, I created my own like textbook um, that I will sometimes be either, you know, it might be on the screen next to me or I'll be following along on my iPad here. Um, so a living will, um, this is a legal document that expresses the client's wishes regarding medical treatment in the event that the client becomes incapacitated and is facing end of life uh, issues. A durable power of attorney for healthcare is a document in which the client designates um, a healthcare proxy to make healthcare decisions for them in the event that they are unable to do so. So something to note, um, it's really important to look at uh, documentation, um, especially when it's a, a, pa a new patient um, in terms of DNR, which means do not resuscitate. Um, you need to make sure that you have reviewed that in their chart and that it's up to date. And they are able to change um, these decisions at any time, but um, it does need to be in their chart. 